AITA for ignoring and not including my female co-worker. This is not an issue I am having with the company. This is just something with me and her. It's probably happening with other male co-workers but I can't speak on their behalf. I work in an office and have a normal friendly relationship with my co-workers. We joke at times and have gone for drinks after work. None of these people are my best friends or anything but I'm cool with them. Including the women. Recently a new woman was hired and shortly after that we received a message from HR. They said that we were going to have some employee conduct and harassment meeting. They brought in a speaker and we watched some videos and did an online test like at a job. Orientation. Basically we learn to keep conversations work focused. Avoid or limit conversations after hours or not at the job. Obvious things like never make comments on physical appearance or do anything inappropriate. They even gave acted out examples. There was a video of a someone bumping into a co-worker at the park and they showed the right and wrong examples. The right was just basic formalities and keeping it moving. The wrong was extending the conversation and asking about their day. I didn't think anything of it because we have HR meetings like this from time to time. Never this extensive though. The new employee pretty much said that she asked for this meeting to happen. She said that she agreed with everything we learned and that it was good to know. Now I'm not here to judge her or say she did the wrong thing. I don't know what she experienced in short time she's worked here or at a previous job. I don't know the kind of life she has lived or what she's gone through. I really don't want this to become people saying, don't trust women. I was at a coffee shop after work and she came in shortly after me and tried to strike up a conversation. I kept it friendly and short and then resumed what I was doing. She seemed put off by that. And then literally the similar situation to the video I mentioned happened. I was at the grocery store. We bumped into each other. I said short small talk things and wished her a nice day. With my other co-workers, including women, I am more buddy-buddy and we have inside jokes. My co-workers buy me birthday presents and we have a good time. Me and new co-worker work in the same small department so she interacts with me a lot. She approached me and said that I am ignoring and isolating her. I told her I just don't want anything to be misconstrued. I keep it professional. If I'm ordering coffee, food for the group, I order ask what she wants. I just make sure to not bring up personal life stuff with her. Edit. I'll copy and paste a comment I left here. I'm just lost at like her getting HR to show us how to properly interact with a coworker. And then me interacting with her in the way HR showed makes her upset. I get that she could have gone through something in the past just don't know what she wants from me. I'm doing what HR suggested. I'm obviously not going to give my co-workers I already have a bond, friendship with the cold. Shoulder to accommodate to one new person. She said she agreed with everything we learned from HR so I am just applying it. I'm not doing this out of some lame, revenge, desire. NTA. You're doing exactly what your HR mandated training advised. Your coworker has told you that your coworker feels isolated and ignored. Mention to HR or your manager that you are adhering to the training. But your coworker has expressed feeling isolated and ignored. Now you would like official guidance dealing with this situation. Get this documented. NTA. This is ridiculous. There's nothing wrong with co-workers being friends. Or even dating. She asked for this. And that's what she's getting. Your employer is also the asshole for trying to coerce employees to not be friends with each other. That's also a great way to increase turnover. NTA. She got exactly what she wanted. She asked for the training, meeting and admitted that it was at her request now that she's the odd man out. She's not happy. If I were you, I'd keep things professional and hang with the other co-workers. Your employer doesn't want co-workers to 
ask each other about their days? That doesn't sound like an anti-harassment training. That sounds like a, how to make sure your employees don't know each other well enough to even consider unionizing, training. Anyways. Re. The new employee. Hey. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel excluded. I just want to be respectful of your boundaries about fraternizing outside work. NTA. NTA. She announced she asked for the meeting as a new hire. What did she expect would happen? You are just covering your own ass. Of course. It's going to be off-putting to all other employees because she, as a new hire, appears to potentially be problematic. What is this? Why wouldn't co-workers be allowed to be pals outside of work anyway? If she specifically said she agreed with what the meeting said, then she already made her decision to exclude herself from social events I guess. I say NTA. NTA. You followed the directions of the meeting that she asked for, and now she feels excluded. NTA. My first thought would have been, is this a trap? Look out for yourself. My dude. It sucks but no one else is going to look out for you for you. NTA. Sounds like you're acting the same way your company instructed you to do. Doesn't sound like ignoring either. She poisoned the well and now she's pissed she can't drink from it. It's ridiculous for an employer to say you can't be friends outside of work. That's just a way to divide people and create a less cohesive workforce if, when management gets tough or gets it wrong. To be clear, I think the training guidance is right for people like this. You clearly can't trust her, but carry on as normal with all your other colleagues. NTA. NTA. You provided the kind of outside of work interactions she indicated she preferred and even requested the meeting for. NTA. Is she testing you or something? How weird. Info. Did the co-worker ask for anti-harassment training or did the co-worker say, I need the company to tell everyone to be exclusively work-focused? Quote. NTA obviously. You're basically just doing exactly what she asked. But this is weird. If you care to you could talk to her about it. Literally tell her that you're just following the rules of the harassment meeting that she asked for. Otherwise just keep doing what you're doing. Not like you can get in trouble for being cordial. NTA and what the hell is going on with your HR? Honestly. It's hard for me to judge the scenario because I'm so focused on the absolutely bizarre HR training. And wondering if that part of the story is true and accurate. Is, don't be friends with your co-workers, actually how other workplaces try to pitch, handle. Harassment? I have never encountered this and it's a terrible, wildly inappropriate approach that doesn't understand how harassment actually works. My closest friend is also my co-worker. Your job can't just tell you not to be friends with people. The new employee pretty much said that she asked for this meeting to happen. Info. What exactly did she say other than that she agreed with the content of the meeting? NTA. Whatever her reason for wanting such strict anti-harassment training. Limited contact outside of work. Really? Was. Op is following what the co-worker wanted. NTA. Legally you can get together with co-workers for parties. BBQS. Drinks. Dinner. Vacations. Whatever. And the company can't do anything about it. I personally wouldn't change anything about the work dynamic in or out of the office. I wouldn't let one new person change the work dynamic just because they want to go on a power trip and see how much they can get away with at a new job. They don't want to converse with people at work or outside fine. Then don't talk to her besides a hello. It will be hilarious when she complains to our and you have to inform them that you're just doing what she asked. 
not talking outside of work. She's not like your other co-workers who enjoy hanniging outside of work. So she doesn't get BTO participate when it suits her. It's odd that she would demand this meeting then try and talk to you outside of work. NTA. But document the hell out of every interaction you have with her. Because I feel like it's going to be another three months and there'll be another HR video about creating a hostile work environment. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.